Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the surprising decline of Magic Gathering Pro Play. Now this is a post by a shit poster. Uh, his previous post involved a using a Black Lotus as a coaster. And people were quite upset about this. But you know, even shit posters sometimes make a good point. He is talking about... Magic the Gathering and the very, very low payout on its prize pool. If you play Magic the Gathering 10 years ago, you know that one of their main advertisements was that you could be a pro Magic player. And as a pro Magic player, you can make a lot of money, you can travel, you can just crush it, right? I remember a magazine ad in Inquest. It was this guy who was like 16, 17, and he's in a hot tub with two very attractive models and on a hot air balloon, right? Traveling to different countries. That was the Magic the Gathering lifestyle. I kid you not. Um, I remember that very vividly because I was like, oh, that would be me one day. And since that time, the NPL has destroyed any, any recognition of pro Magic play. Pro Magic player is now a thing of the past. It's not something that people talk about. It is basically a... No, there's no way to do it ever since the MPL. I can tell you why you can look at eSports. You can look at Overwatch League. Uh, we have a Overwatch, former Overwatch League um, called, what is it called? Houston Outlaws that has now become a content studio. So they went from actually competing in Overwatch League to be the Houston Outlaws content studio. And when you talk about situations like this um it's always about content it is always always about content and it's not something that many people will tell you the truth about but jeff wilson had a really good podcast and he was talking about how he's building this three million dollar card shop but it's going to be a content house first and a card shop second that is true for everything in china so i my fiance and i are were supposed to go to China in March and look at, we actually had to scheduled many places to visit. And these are not large stores. They, they do have stores, but it is the idea that they're live selling and they're producing content and the content and the content and the content. And that's where the money is. That's where the sponsorship money is. That's where the investor money is. That's where all the money is. It's in content, content, content. And when you talk about a situation like right now, um, where the NPL and Autumn, for instance, is not producing very much content, I, I don't. I think she changed her Twitch channel, but barely can get over a hundred viewers at a time. I thought it was a different channel, but okay. They paid a hundred million dollars over ten years. That was the plan to these individuals to become great content creators to become interesting to become you know build magic up and they barely none of them could barely unless his name was Saviz, but he came from a different he was already famous like the jessica's the autumns the even the pvds they couldn't get the viewership counts that they needed in fact if you look at magic the gathering as a twitch topic right now Barely anyone in the top 110 have more than 100 view concurrent viewers at any time. This is very, very bad news because I can start a stream right now on Twitch Stats Magic the Gathering on this exact channel and get over 100 people watching. I can start a stream on my other channel and get 200, 300 people watching at any concurrent moment. So Magic the Gathering has done extremely poorly. Like I'll, I'll tell you this. So top live Magic the Gathering streamers, uh, there's 607, that's Jim Davis, 215, Team J Bro, 129, Predi Mag MTG, 125, the Will Hall Experiment, 103, Matt Grainer, and the next guy is 69. So 69, 65, 60, 49, 29, 18, 12, 10. So to make it into the top... 10 streamers yeah to make it in the top 10 streamers you just need to have 30 concurrent streamers i believe that's concurrent they call it viewers i'm pretty sure that's concurrent 
And to make it to the top 20, you just need to have 7. And if you have 10, or if, let's say you have 19, you are now the 11th most popular YouTube cha or Twitch channel on that does Magic the Gathering. So, I mean, it's basically dead. Uh, it's ranked 79. There's 68 live channels, 2,038 live viewers, right? Um, it's not looking good for the future of Magic the Gathering because, let's be honest, it's not entertaining. This game is very, very unentertaining at this point in time. Less people play standard. Um, less people really care. I'm, I mean, I'm looking at it right now, and it's terrible. It's terrible. Like, you know, you have only five streamers above 100. And one's barely about 100 at 106. Then you have 10 streamers above 20. There, there's only 10 total streamers above 20. I can't imagine that. You pop up a, a stream on here and Twitch should... Honestly, Twitch should have more followers, more people willing to stream. Right? Like, than YouTube, right? If you do YouTube Live and Twitch at the same time with the same audience, I would assume that Twitch gives you more followers and more payout. Which that means that you're incentivized to do it. I do think that in terms of what's happening is I'm looking at over outlaws. And I'm looking at their content creation very carefully because they have pivoted from being an esports league to a, um, yeah, who are these guys? I need some COD clips by guys averaging 20 subs on YouTube. Uh, look at that. You acknowledge your Overwatch team for the first time in ages and instantly your most popular tweet this month, excluding giveaways for V-Bucks or whatever. Saying farewell to the organization and its fans. Yeah, this franchise is cooked. But this team, I have on good authority, this Houston Outlaws, which is like nothing. They, they get much fewer views. They're nothing compared to my two channels, my free channels, really, my dog channel. They, they got an investment of $16 million or six, at least $6 million. So some investor somewhere thought this idea was worth $6 million. I am desperately trying to meet said investor and then trying to pitch my channels, right? Because if he's going to pay $6 million for like a dead, and they don't even do esports anymore, uh, in my opinion, right? This franchise is a, now a complete joke. How in the world did they manage to find a way to get lower than a rock? I truly don't understand how you guys screwed this up so badly. Any fans you had left are gone now. Congrats on killing a successful org. I hope the mediocre content is worth it. Yeah, that content sucks, man. And they paid $6 million for this team. This team of like, I'm no offense, but the investor needs to know. This is a team of losers. Like, they, they couldn't sell. They can't do anything. Like, the, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's bad, guys. It's bad. And the only people like responding to them are the actual people being paid. Um, no one, I mean, geez, no one cares about these guys. Outlaw Magin, like, how I many, what was he? He got 11.4K. I mean, these guys look like nice guys. They definitely look like nice guys, right? But they're TikTok guys and they're not going to work. So basically what I'm saying, the future is content creation. It's nothing else.